Clinton House and go into the historic part of town. This is the south branch of the Raritan River. You can see some fishermen here. Also, you'll have ladies fishing too. And across the way, we'll have a restaurant with tables on the river. And ahead of us there, we have the Iron Pony Bridge. And ahead of us and to the left is the historic Clinton Red Mill and its museum village at the Hunterton Museum. And a little old outhouse, of course not being used anymore. And we have cherry blossoms and apple blossoms. This is the Red Mills wheel. And across the way we have the stone mill. And they've got the red wh or the, the wheel turned on tonight. It's not always movable. It was moving for a little while. And we'll continue into town. I can hear the mill wheel turning. And this is the Iron Pony Bridge. It has kind of a waffle metal grill in its middle. And we see over there the restaurant and some of the other stores that are there. And now we'll walk across the Iron Pony Bridge. Kind of looking at the Red Mill and the Stone Mill and the dam as we go. Off in the distance there is the right behind the Stone Mill. You see the canoes they're rented by the uh, Penders Boathouse. Now the uh, wheel doesn't want to turn every time I look at it, but I can hear it in the background sometimes turning. I don't know if that's because it's actually connected to the grinding stone or if it needs grease. Ah, there it goes. Okay, we'll continue on into the historic downtown Clinton, New Jersey area. This is just at sunset. Very beautiful time of the day here. And we can see some of the buildings here. Red, the Clinton Red Mill is the most photographed building in New Jersey, and you can see why. This is the Hunterton Museum of Art. It's the Stone Mill, and just beyond it is Pender's Boat House. And this is the corner of Lower Center and Main Street. If I walk out here, you can see this. I'm going to just walk over. They're getting ready for pansy days. Clinton, New Jersey has these beautiful cherry trees. And because they don't know how to predict when they're going to bloom, they have a pansy day 
toward the end of the month of April and the beginning of May. I think it's the last weekend of April. And they do this because they can guarantee that they have plants in bloom, supposedly. Uh, I think there's a little more to that story. But you can see the cherry trees. And some of them have lights on them, which make them pretty. That's provided the store owners plug them in because they have to supply the electricity. That's the Clinton Bookstore. I should have told you that the building on the right by the dam is an interesting place to go. This is the Bear, Shaw, a bear Paw Leather Shop. Uh, that's those framing. This is our pharmacy downtown. Excuse me, please. And this is C-Cores up here on the left, which is an interesting little store to go into. And you can see the Victorian architecture. I should have pointed out back there that the one building was the old fire station. This used to be the Five and Dime, and I understand it's coming back with a new owner. And they're going to make it a Five and Dime again. This is an interesting store called Things We Like. This is a antique consignment store. And this, Her Majesty, is where <laughs> dogs and cats are real. They have dog biscuits and uh, cakes and things like that for, for uh, dogs that I think are a little on the gourmet side. As you can see, downtown Clinton is very pretty. This is an interesting store, and you just saw me. See, this is the Pansy Festival, Saturday and Sunday, May 1 to uh, May 1st and 2nd. Music, magic, face painting, horse and carriage ride, window decorating, contest, and gardening demonstration, birdhouse contest, flower cells, and more. Sponsored by the Clinton Guild at clintonguild.com. And if you like coffee, we have the Clinton Coffee Shop there. And also back in the very first building to the right as you come across the Pony Bridge, there's a really nice coffee shop in there where they grind the coffee fresh for you and they have organic coffee and uh, some little pastries uh, there. This is the corner of Main Street and Lee. And this is looking up Lee Street. There's some businesses up there. There's a flower shop. There's a bakery. And this is East Main that we're coming to. We have the Clinton Bistro here. A shop called Extraordinary Beads if you're into making things with beads. And up on the right we have Sandrian Camera. You can see there's more cherry blossoms there. They were going to cut down the cherry trees. And someone in town complained about it. So they stopped cutting them down. And that they had cut down some and it already replaced them with these trees that you see here. But they had a few spots that they hadn't started replacing yet. So they did put a few cherry trees back. This is a town that a lot of the local people do not want to become a tourist town. They like to have it their own little secret. And this is Dickens Lane. This is a building that was built on my design. And we have down here one of my favorite places to eat, which is Prue Thai. And they have Prue Tea also. And being a Monday night, they're closed. Across from us, we have the municipal building and the parking lot behind it, which is one of the parking areas that they suggest that you park in when you come to visit Clinton. And you have Sandrian Camera there. And uh, Holson's Bagel House. There's a photographer here. There's a cleaner. There's Clinton Business. And there's um, a pizza house there. 